hey y'all welcome back for another video in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys my detangling routine for my nine months post relaxer hair you guys know i am transitioning without the big chop so if y'all want to see my little detangling routine let's go ahead and get into the video okay guys to start i'm gonna go ahead with my tresemme moisture rich conditioner I love this conditioner this is a new version in a wide tooth comb you're also going to need some clips to clip away you know the other parts of your hair because we're going to be working in sections per usual so first i try to section my hair using my fingers if not i use my comb for just a little help and then i work with my fingers i find that working with your fingers allows you to be gentle you definitely want to be gentle when working with your hair period but especially when you are transitioning this is because you have two different textures and the line of demarcation is very weak so you want to make sure that you're being gentle um, as much as you possibly can with your hair and i find that using my fingers first allows me to do that Okay, y'all, so I'm just uh, sectioning my hair off and I'm just going to put this part up. Y'all see me fighting for my life with this section, y'all. Who told me to lose my grab clips because this would have been so much easier. But for right now, I'm losing, losing, using my snap clips. Um, Yeah, I don't know where I put those grab clips uh, later on. And that's what I'm thinking about right here. Like, where did my grab clips go? But later on, I found out that my kids got a hold of them. That's why I couldn't find it. But y'all see this, y'all tangled. Um, yeah, that's because I intended to wash my hair two days ago and didn't get around to it. So um, here we are again, trying to use my fingers to section off. And um, I sped this clip up, so settle down. I'm not being that rough with my hair. <laughs> I know, I know. I always have to say this in every video because they're going to be that one person child. So we're going to go ahead and apply conditioner to that section of my hair and then i'm going to use my fingers and work through as much of the tangles or as many of those tangles as i possibly can um using your fingers allows you to feel those little knots and break them up as gently as possible and once i am done with that i'm just gonna go in from the ends of my hair with my wide tooth comb you're gonna go ahead and basically make room for any tangles to go down so you see that i know y'all see that little tangle that i was working down with the comb that's what happens when you start at the end you kind of make way for those tangles to come down a little bit easier and then after i'm finished with this comb i go in with a smaller comb to kind of fine tune stuff um so yeah i'm gonna let you guys watch as i do this to all the sections of my hair Alright guys, so next I'm going to be taking my scalp oils. I'm using both the nettle infused version of it and the original version. So the nettle infused version, I only had a little bit left. So I used that up and then I'm going to use the original just to apply to my scalp and then down the length of my hair. I use the oil um, with the conditioner just to double as a pre-poo. Sometimes I use the oil by itself depending on how I had my hairstyle for the week. For this week, I had in my wonderful braid outs y'all know i love my braid outs so yeah i have coming out of a braid out so i definitely needed the conditioner to help 
prior to that I did go ahead and straightened my hair in order to trim my ends and I did film that video so it's up on the channel if y'all want to check it out I will link it below I will also go ahead and link below the scalp oils that I use and those are up on my website reallifewithamanda.com you can go ahead and click on the shop and purchase them there And as I finish up this section, you guys are going to see me admiring. Look how much new growth y'all has come through. I can't wait for it to grow just a little bit more just to see my hair. Then I'm going to decide what I'm going to do from there because y'all, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, dealing with two textures is not easy, but I'm also not a short hair girly, so I'm definitely not cutting my hair right now because, yeah, it's just not for me. Alright y'all, I'm pretty much just going to be doing the same thing on this section of my hair as well. We're going to be working in two sections. I'm going to split that up using my fingers. And then we're just going to run my fingers through to break up any tangles that I can feel. And apply the conditioner and the comb. And y'all know the whole spiel from here. That's what pretty much what I do to my entire hair. And then we're all ready to wash. That is it y'all. This is my entire detangling process. I did do the other side off camera. Then I'm just going to throw my hair up under a plastic cap and go ahead and let this pre-poo sit for a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair per usual. I did record two of my wash day routines already. They are up on the channel. Link will be below. And this is it for me y'all. I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.